your videos need to have some structure. I'm talking about something that's easy to follow, that you can wash and repeat, and then ultimately use to develop a style that makes your videos your own. My name is Dean Parman, you're watching TravelVids.tv and we are breaking down smartphone video to make it really easy for you. Today we'll be talking about video structure. Like any good story, a video has to have a good structure, a beginning, a middle, an end. First up on the list, we're gonna talk about the intro. Now the intro is the most important thing. You've gotta capture your audience in the first five to 10 seconds, otherwise they are gone, they are out of here. Get out. You cannot afford to lose your viewers to distractions. You gotta grip them, hold them, keep them in their seats and say, I wanna see more. This is what your intro is all about. Mike, what's happening today? What's Quick. up? We're gonna go sandboarding today. Here's some tips. Number one, you don't have to go and film a specific type of intro for a video. You can actually take the highlights or the best moments of that video, put them in the front, and capture your audience's attention. And they also know what to expect, what's coming. The other way is to take some footage from the ending, put it in the front, so it causes this kind of loop where you started is where you ended. It's a great trick that you know movies use as well. So why can't you use it in a one minute Instagram video? Something that I like to do sometimes is take a little piece of the text, something that I've said, something poignant, and then just use that as a voiceover over your B-roll footage that you're gonna put into your intro. And it just sort of sets the mood of what is coming in this video. You need to get really creative with your intros, but remember the purpose of it is to capture your viewers' attention and then also introduce what's happening in the rest of this video. Don't lose track of that. The middle, the belly, AKA the body, the body, get my body. Get down, look at my body. The middle of the video is the story of the video. If you can ask yourself, why am I making this video? And answer it straight away. Then you're about 90% of the way there. Let me explain. The body consists of the content of the story. The story is a message that you want to tell your viewers. So by asking yourself, why am I making this video? you should be able to quickly answer, I want to make this video so that I can tell my viewers that I got a new car, that I experienced an incredible hiking trip, that um, I've got a new product to sell. Whatever it is that your story is, is going to make up the bulk of this video. And this is broken up into separate little scenes. These individual scenes are made up out of a variety of shots. If you wanna know more about the shots that you should use, then check out the card here. There's a video there about the two basic shot types that you need to build the scenes that make the body. And guys, when you're making videos on a smartphone, remember to just keep it simple, keep it short, because the attention span of people that are watching videos on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube is shrinking faster than permafrost. Random, but true. My suggestion is that you take the body and limit it to maybe three or four different scenes and treat each of these like separate little scripts. Because editing on a smartphone is a little bit more compact than a big screen like this, that's why it kind of makes sense to treat each one like an individual little video. And there's tips and tricks that I can teach you later on how to stick these back together. Get to the chopper! Let's round this up, let's talk about the end. This is the end. That would totally suck. You can't leave people hanging. This is kind of like the intro. It's the creative little piece that you stick on the end of your video to just give it that sense of completion. Leave your viewer with a little bit of space to feel. This means that you can add in sort of an emotive ending, maybe a summary of the best moments again, like we mentioned in the intro, uh, sort of a rearrangement of the intro to highlight the, the best parts of this video. Talk to your people, ask them to do stuff like like and comment and subscribe. Yes, I'm talking to you guys, you over there. Like, comment and subscribe. Also, let us know what you wanna see next. Is there anything else you wanna learn when it comes to making videos with your phone? Guys, it's easy, so please, where are you getting stuck? Let me know. 
We'll be bringing out lots more videos like this. My name is Dean. You're watching Travel Vids and making smartphone videos is easy. No, like literally anybody can do it. Anybody. See you soon.